Welcome to episode 15 of 500 Today. It is Saturday, May 28th, the day before the 500. Yesterday was carb day. We're going to talk about what happened. We're going to talk about the odds. Let's get after it. Okay, yesterday was carb day. It was a very busy day out at the track. Uh, let's talk fast speeds. TK, the fastest, um, 227.1. Uh, second, Marcus Erickson, 227.0. Third, Takumo Sato, that's been crazy fast all month, um, broke up the Ganassi Speed Show with 226.8. Scotty D, Scott Dixon, our pole sitter, was fourth at 226.6. And fifth, the fastest Chevrolet, 226.5 from the Dryer and Rhyme Bolt Racing Team, Sage Karam. That's an interesting one. I love Sage Karam. I think he's a heck of a race car driver. I think he's had a lot of crazy stuff happen to him. But he is so skilled and just absolutely fearless. And he's going to be a name to watch tomorrow for sure. There were a couple different incidents yesterday. Um, David Malukas uh, did a half spin, hit turn one. He and Santino Ferrucci. It, Ferrucci basically got penalized. He had to sit in the pit box for 20 minutes. He had to go to timeout um, from IndyCar. Uh, I don't know. You watch this one, and it's one of those where <clears throat> I kind of think Malukas went in too late to try to make the pass. IndyCar thought that uh, Ferrucci came down on him. Kind of a racing incident. Both those guys were kind of um, taking a little bit of the blame. They were not, you know, pushing blame on each other. They were apologetic to each other and stuff. So that's good. But that stinks for uh, the David Malukas team, a rookie. Um, it was a pretty hard hit. But not as crazy as what Colton Herta had to do uh, a little bit later or endured later. Went into turn one, got a little wiggle, tried to correct it, went back, hit the safer barrier. Basically, the car went airborne, tumbled a little bit, and then basically landed on the roof. It's amazing. They propped it on the side, propped it over, and he just walked away. Said he was a little sore, but <clears throat> the uh, the amazement of the uh, safety advances in IndyCar are amazing because of that. Ten years ago, that would have been really bad. Thirty years ago, that would have been absolutely horrific. So thankfully, all the advances we've got with the track, with the safer barrier and the car for Colton Herta that he was able to walk away. And um, they've already said they're going to a backup car. That car was really, really damaged. Um, I think Malukas was going to try to rebuild theirs. Uh, so we'll see what happens. But carb days in the books. The cars are put away. They're all in bed until tomorrow. Okay, now let's take a peek as I'm putting my phone in front of everything. I'm looking at, uh, I'm looking at FanDuel right now. Let's take a look at the odds. Um, who they're trying to dupe you with. There are a few, so be careful. At the start of the, the field, Dixon and Polo are 650, plus 650. Those are my two favorites. I think one of those two honestly gets the job done tomorrow. So um, they're the favorites. The next group, you got Colton Herta at 900, McLaughlin and Newgarden at 1,000, Award at 1,200, Power at 1,300, VK at 15, Carpenter 16, Erickson 17. Let's look in that group. <clears throat> Who are they trying to get you with? Colton Herta, right out the gate, plus 900. He's starting kind of in the uh, the back, the middle of the pack. His car has been okay. He's kind of a hot name. I don't think that he gets the job done tomorrow. He got the job done in the Grand Prix. I just don't think that he's got the speed to get up to the front and stay there. So that is one that I'd be careful with. On the opposite side, McLaughlin and Newgarden, I think, are decent bets because they're both with Penske. Not that they've been holding back this month, but they just haven't found that crazy speed that Penske usually has. So we'll see what those guys do. Will Power, same boat. VK at 1,500 and Carpenter at 1,600. Those are interesting ones because they're at Carpenter Racing. They've been super fast. VK has been an absolute rocket ship. Those would be two you might take a flyer on. They're down, what, 9 and 10 in the kind of the, the, the favorite, so you're still going to win some decent money if you put money on them. Marcus Erickson at 1700 That's another one. He doesn't have the experience as Dixon and um, Johnson and TK and even Polo, but he is a heck of a race car driver, and that car has been crazy fast this year. He's with Ganassi. That would be a decent bet as well. So with that group, I mean, I'd say Dixon and Polo, 
Those are the favorites. Sorry, I keep putting my phone in front of the camera. Dixon and Plone, those are your favorites. I would stay away. Stay away from Herta. Stay away from Pato Award. I think he's a little high. I think his car's really good, but okay. Um, the rest of those, I think, would be solid good bets. I really do. McLaughlin and Newgarden would be really interesting. Will Powers in that same boat. VK and Carpenter. The problem Ed Carpenter Racing has had is I feel like once they get towards the back half of the race... Their pace falls off or they just randomly have something crazy happen. So it would be amazing to see Ed Carpenter or Renus VK win this thing. But history shows they're not really there at the end of the race. Um, Marcus Erickson is one that's down a little bit, like I said, with a really fast car. So that would be an interesting one to maybe put some money on, see if he can get the job done. And then you're going into another category there. Plus 1900, Elio and Sato. Elio Castroneves is starting towards the back. His car has not been great this year. I don't think he has the speed to get that fifth win. Now, Sato, I would definitely take a gamble there. His car has been crazy fast all month. He is, I think these are really good odds for him. I mean, he's down in the 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12th spot. And he's been in the top three to four all month. He's a fast guy. He's won two of these already. Takumo Sato is one to go ahead. And I would I would put that bet down right now on Sato. Um, you, you're going to get uh, plus 1,900. That's a really good payday if he can win. Rossi, 2,000. Be careful with him. His car has not been great. Um, not really happy at all with it. So be careful with that. TK, Jimmy Johnson at 2100 apiece. They're both with Ganassi. They're both crazy fast. TK actually yesterday was the fastest in carb day. So those are two bets I would almost consider too. Jimmy Johnson's got crazy experience racing, not in IndyCar, but he's done so many 500 mile, 500 mile races. Those are two that if you're trying for a couple outliers, I would really focus on TK and Jimmy Johnson. Then you're getting down to Graham Ray Hall at 2600. Rosenquist 2800, Pagano 2800. Um, two of those to take a look at. Pagano at 2800. He is in the same team as Elio. Um, <clears throat> Elio is getting way better odds than him. He may take a flyer on Pagano. A lot of the guys in the media think that he is primed to get his second win here. His car is not crazy fast, but he knows what he's doing and he will get that thing around the track and he'll get to the front. Um, Rosenquist, I think he's fast. I just don't think he's consistent enough. Ray Hall is a tricky one because his car, he's not been really happy with his car. He's not really enjoyed it that much. It's not gone crazy fast, but you know he's going to try to get to the front. I would not put money on him just because I don't think he has the speed. Same with uh, Grosjean, Montoya. They're at 3,000. I just don't trust either one of them with their machines. They're great drivers. Formula One absolute amazing drivers but i just don't think they have the machines with the speed to get to the front and then you're looking at the back half you're looking at kyle kirkwood connor daly marco andretti ferrucci di francesco lungard harvey sage caram malukas kayla miliot hildebrandt and delton Kell Del dalton kellett all these are on FanDuel if you want to take a peek. But here's what I'm thinking in that back half. Connor Daly, 5,000. He's in the same camp as Ed Carpenter Racing. He will get to the front. His car, I don't think, has the speed for 500 miles, but he'll get up there and make you uh, think he's going to gonna make a run there. And I hope he does. Great kid and a fantastic story here locally in Indianapolis, but I just don't think he has the machinery. Marco Andretti's back there for a reason. His car kind of uh, has not done what he wanted it to do. So watch out for Marco. Don't be fooled there. The rest of these guys, Sage Karam is one um, that I would definitely... Sage Karam at 11,000 and J.R. Hildebrand at 18,000. Hildebrand's 32nd. Karam's 29th in the, in the, in the betting um, odds here. Sage Karam will be fast. He was fifth fast yesterday. He will get to the front. He's got a good car, a good machine. I think he's taken a new approach this year that he doesn't have to win on lap 1, 15, or 20. He's going to be patient. He will be there at the end. J.R. Hildebrand has got tons of experience here. He's with A.J. Foyt Racing, which makes you a little uh, uneasy because the car hasn't been crazy fast, but he will get that machine to the front as well. Those are the two I would think about. So a couple outliers to really focus on as we start our way from the back to the front. J.R. Hildebrand, Sage Karam, getting great odds with those two. Connor Daly. I wouldn't put a ton of money there, but it's worth maybe a flyer. 
Graham Rahal, I would not get fooled into that because I don't think he has the speed. Jimmy Johnson and TK, they do have the speed. They will be up there. Um, don't fall into the Elio Castro Neves publicity trap. I love Elio. He's a great driver, a great guy. I hope he wins. I just don't think he has the speed. VK is back a little bit. Watch him. Erickson at 1,700 is a good bet, too. He's with the fastest team. They've been rolling all month. He's back a little bit more than his teammates, um, Dixon and Pillow, ahead of TK and Jimmy Johnson. But uh, he's there. New Garden is fifth. That's maybe worth a flyer because he is primed to win this thing. Scott. All right. That's it for us. Uh Today, driver's meeting and then the parade. I'm not going to make it down to the parade. I wanted to, but we got other stuff going on. So hopefully you can go enjoy it, see the drivers. First time in a few years, so that's fantastic. And then tomorrow, it's race day. Woo! I have not gotten tickets. I don't think I'm going to be off the track. Um, no credential, but the thing about buying tickets, trying to buy getting out there, but you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stay in with the family. We're going to get the Peacock Premium. We're going to watch the race. And we're going to talk about it all before, maybe have a lap 100 video to go over what's going on so far, and then we'll break it down afterwards. But I thank you so much for being here. I've really enjoyed these videos. I hope you have too. Today really was kind of different. Um, I don't really gamble, but I do love to look at the odds. I cannot believe that Colton hurt his third favorite. I really can't. I mean, that is one that, what do they know that I don't know? I think I kind of know the Indianapolis 500 a little bit, but that's one that I think, um, I just don't know what's going on with that one. But anyway... Hopefully you enjoyed uh, the episode. Thanks again for liking the channel, uh, the video, subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate it. And um, can't wait. Tomorrow's race day. Talk to you later.